we take it for granted. We get to see it every day. Coaches are the same way, but you and Jasper, two of the best at your positions in the country, and y'all get to go hat to hat every single day. Well, how does that make you better? How does going against him make you better? And how does that make your team better? I think it makes us better just because we love to compete against each other, and, and we don't even think of it as the two of the best players. Or we, we're two, we just think of it as two guys just competing against each other. And I think that we make each other better by doing that. But fundamentally, you all are, are really sound. And how does does it help those younger players to see? All right, this is what you need to do. And sometimes, hey, he'll get you. Sometimes you'll get him. Sometimes it'll be a stalemate. But they get to see how it's done properly. Yeah, I, I, it's it's good for them to see how the technique is, how it's supposed to be. And um, coach always uses me as an example. And, I'm doing something right. This is how you're supposed to do it. And, I mean, sometimes I don't win against Jasper's, and sometimes he gets the best of me. Sometimes I get the best of him. So it just goes back and forth. So it's good for them to see that. How has that built your all's relationship as far as you and Jasper? I think it's built us uh, our relationship good just because we're able to feed off each other, and I'm able to help him. And yeah, if a guy's doing what I do, it's what how he can beat it, and he does it vice like, versa for me. You look at some of the young guys coming in. I mean, Tamel's really shown out. Some of the receivers have shown out. Did you all think coming out of spring that you all would have this many potential impact freshmen uh, after the spring that you all had? Uh, yeah, Tamel, he's, he's been doing a great job. I didn't. I mean, I, I just saw him in the summertime when he came in, and uh, he's, he's been working hard in the summer and he's showing right now. Um, but it's great to have all these freshmen contributing to playing because it's only going to make us better. We talked about the defense last year and how much of a dramatic change it had from 2012. And you were a big cause of that up the middle, but the healthy linebacker core brought a lot to that. How much does having the right guys in the right spots allow everybody to really do what is their best thing on the field and make this team that much better? Yeah, I mean, the linebackers help us a lot because they take the blocks off of us where we can get free. And so we just feed off each other and able to both make plays like that. And especially with your spot up the middle, there's four guys that can step in there and, and, and play it at any time. The depth last year was something that was big of being able to get fresh guys in and out, nobody playing over 35 snaps a game. How big is that for you as especially in, in those late games, fourth quarter, where you need fresh legs of being able to have everything you need all the way through? Yeah, it's big just because, I mean, I feel like I can always go 100% and I'm at 100% when I'm out there. Just we have all these other guys who can contribute and help out. So it's not that I'm going to be tired in the fourth quarter or if, or if we're going to overtime or something like that, we should still all have fresh legs. You get a lot of older guys like yourself, Chris Jaspers, Cato stepping up, coaching up these young guys. How much different does the, the players respond to when you guys talk to them and, and coach them up rather than just a coach of, of hearing it from somebody that plays in front of them every single day? I think it, it helps them a lot just because that, I mean, coaches are always going to coach. They're always going to tell you what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. And I think that if it comes from a player, that they, they take it to heart better and they understand it better and they, and they really believe in it. Coach Heater wants the, the points given up this year down to close to 18 points. That's four points from where you guys were at last year. What's the, the one difference that you guys have to make to be able to capitalize on the, the defensive cues that you missed up on last year and really take a heart and take care of that this year? I think that we just need to finish plays and finish drives. Uh, too many times we couldn't get off the field on third down. And I think that that hurt us a lot of times. So I think if this year if we take that to focus that, that'll help us out a lot. For you individually, I mean, coming off the season you had last year, going into this season, all the accolades you got going on. For you individually, what can you do better this season? How can you improve? 